All right, now that our tripod is secure, we're gonna go ahead and place our head unit on top. We're gonna to tilt it away from us just a little bit by keeping our hand on the top at all times until it's secure. We're gonna find a threaded stud that's already attached to the tripod. And we're gonna go ahead and install that. And we're just gonna screw it down to it's fairly snug because we're gonna to wanna to do some adjustments before we really tighten it down. All right. Now I want to step behind the machine because I want to level it from back here. So you can see me and what I'm doing the entire time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple things. I want to align these leveling brackets with the legs of the tripod. So I've got one over each leg, just like so. There's a bubble level on the tri bracket itself. I want that facing me while I'm back here so I can make sure everything is level. And the final thing is on every level knob, there's an indentation right above the knob. I want to make sure I can see that indentation on every single knob so that I know I can start from an even place. So now that I've done all those things, I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. I'm going to look at my bubble level and I'm going to notice it's going to the left and back. So that means I'm going to take this tripod leg here. I'm going to put my hand around the pole and I'm gonna kinda of keep some pressure between the piece of wood and the pole itself. Unlock to where it's free, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that whole tripod go down just a fair amount, just like that. I'm gonna lock it in, and now my bubble level is perfect, and I'm gonna to move to the next step. All right, this is just a review or close up of leveling the tripod with the head unit placed on top. We've noticed that the bubble level is facing down and to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and take this leg on this side right here, and we're gonna go ahead and unloosen it, like I showed you in the video before. And we're just gonna let it down gently until that bubble level is right in the center. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and lock that down, and now we are ready for the next step. All right, now we're at the final phase of leveling. We've gone ahead and turned our tool on, and now we're on the level vial screen. It usually pops up immediately. Uh, what we wanna do is make sure that black dot there is inside the smaller inner circle and or over those crosshairs, depending on accuracy. A tip or trick is to make sure the head unit is not sideways like this. You wanna have the face of this unit in line with the two leveling knobs, so everything is in a nice straight line. There are many ways to do this, but this is the easiest that I found. So I'm gonna turn the light back on for you. Now we're gonna take each hand and put them on the leveling knobs at the same time. And I'm either gonna to twist towards the tool with my thumbs or back towards me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that process now. It's very sensitive, so I'm just gonna do it just a little bit at a time. So let's, we're gonna pull back with our thumbs on each hand just a little bit. Notice how the black dot is moving now. All right, we're directly over that access right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear leveling knob. And I'm gonna twist that and pushing my thumb forward. Let me turn the light back on for you. The actual black dot went down, so now I'm gonna go the opposite way. Okay, it's moving up just a little bit more. A little bit more. And now we are over the crosshairs inside the smaller circle. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. And we're gonna to move to the next step.